Hi everyone and welcome back to Stitchy Bee. I'm Cheryl Temple. Well, if you saw my last video, uh, you'll have seen that I made that lovely blush pink and white Frankie top um, from Tilly and the Button stretch book. And I know lots of you wanted to get hold of the white jersey. So I thought I'd better give you a little update about that first before we go any further. So trying to get hold of stock in really large quantities is not that easy for fabric retailers here. So despite me being promised tens of meters coming and it's coming next week and next week, I've finally um, nailed the supply down to delivering it to me next week. So fingers crossed, I'll be able to start posting that out here next week. So I'll let you know when that's online um, and everybody who's expressed an interest, I've I'm going to contact you all and message you all however you contacted me so I've got a big long list um, to go through so don't worry about that but yeah check the site next week um, and we'll we'll see see what day that arrives so fingers crossed so one of the good things though that come out of challenges like this so is I got really focused on finding alternative jerseys so I got hold of loads of samples. I was looking for the perfect 95% cotton, 5% spandex. As per last week, I was trying to find alternatives for you, but none of them were up to the same quality that that top was made from. So I'm holding out for that. And I've got 90 meters coming, hopefully next week. Um, so fingers crossed that'll be sorted. And one of the other things I came across looking at all these different types of jersey uh, was cotton interlock um, jersey which is what I'm wearing so this is a hundred percent cotton rather than having a spandex element and I'll show you here it comes in a big tube which many of these interlock um, fabrics do so if you look down the middle it's a big long tube and then you can cut it down one side yourself. So um, I thought I'd give this a try out um, to see if this is any good for baseball tops and t-shirts. And I've made this really lovely, perfect um, summer white t-shirt. And I've been on the lookout for a, a cotton t-shirt that's gonna take you through um, the warmer months where you do really just want 100% natural fabric um, next to your skin. When it gets hot and sweaty, it's, it's nice to wear and I'm really pleased with the results. So I've made another Frankie T. You can probably just see the raglan element here. And in um, Tilly's book, Stretch, um, she shows how to make the shorter sleeved version. Um, so you don't have to hack it yourself. You just cut the lines as she suggests and then create a little turn up. And I've popped a tiny little tuck uh, or a little um, stitch that's quite invisible inside one on the bottom. I think she suggests to uh, do one or two or three stitches so um, it keeps that in place. And then also I amended the length so I think I mentioned last week that I found the Frankie on me a little bit longer but I did make probably a larger size than I needed. So I've adjusted the pattern to bring it in slightly at the hip because it does go beautifully out for a woman's figure. But for me, I wanted it slightly shorter and I've done that. I'd love to tell you that I've done it scientifically and I've had all my drawing rulers out and everything, but I didn't, I guessed. So I literally just took in about a centimetre and a half um, from both the front and the back. And how I did that was overlay the front pattern on top of the back pattern to make sure they matched. And I just cut, cut down the side on the um, the traced version that I'd used. So, and that worked a treat. And it, it behaves really well. The hem's beautiful. I even got my twin needle out for my new machine and gave that a go. So it looks pretty good, actually. You can get quite a good effect using that, especially if you overlock the hem. It can almost look like a cover stitch effect if you pin it correctly and, and sew it in the right place. So I'm really pleased with this and I've also um, used the twin needle to top stitch around the neckline too and it was it's lovely it's such a nice top. So I've got this in stock for you if you're while you're waiting um, for the other type of jersey. Um, so this is cotton interlock 
and it'll be on the website later today. I, I was going to cut this for you um, before I post it out for any orders but you know what it's really handy to leave it as a tube um, for cutting on the fold because it's jersey's not easy to then fold and make sure the grain is absolutely straight so I I tried a couple of versions I tried cutting it and then washing it and then cutting it um, but I've actually made this I know I shouldn't say this but I've made this without washing because it's 100% cotton and my washing machine is quite gentle and when I do wash it it'll be on a 30 degree wash um, so we'll see see what happens there but yeah the advice is always wash your fabric before you cut it in case of shrinkage but I think with this one it's really quite nice to use that definite line to cut down and it it will mean that your t-shirt doesn't twist out of shape you've probably got a couple of ready to wear ones like me where the fabric's twisted and the hem gets funny when you iron it um, so yeah it does keep it perfect um, in terms of the grain line so I recommend having a bash at that um, I think I'm going to get some more colours of this in as well because it's um, super available which is brilliant uh, it's also manufactured in Britain as well so which is another bonus and I can get it next day so we won't have any issues restocking this one if you want to to wait a while so yeah I'm going to look at the other other colours for that so picking up from the stock um, and types of jersey and fabric I did mention last time that I would be sewing um, the sweatshirt hoodie the Stella hoodie from um, Tilly's book so I don't really want to to do that and have no stock for you to buy as a result so I've investigated uh, a really brilliant supplier and I'm actually having some sweatshirt fabric manufactured for you so that we won't ever have the issue about waiting for stock to arrive from another country it's it's quite tiresome from a from a retailer's perspective when I know you guys want to buy and I want to sell to you and um, so I thought right there's got to be a plan B so I've commissioned my own shade of fabric and I'm having that made up for you now I'm not going to put that live just yet um, because I'm waiting for that to be um, made and sewn up but I'm also going to have a few days break next week um, so I've been running Stitchy Bee now for the last this is the seventh month and time's just really flown and I've been absolutely exhausted um, lovely really enjoyed it but I've been really working quite hard because I'm not sure if you're aware but it is only me I don't have any staff I don't have um, my husband doesn't work with me on this he does his own thing and um, yeah so I do the website building I do the orders I do the sewing I do all the tech stuff as well as the, the fabric stuff so I think I've worn myself out a little bit so I'm gonna have a few days away and then when I get back it's all systems go so I've got an absolute ton of new fabric coming in so you've probably noticed the website's gone a little bit kind of low in stock recently it's been intentional because I didn't want to flood myself with a ton of new orders and then worry about how I'm going to get those out before I go away so if you want any fabric uh, from me or um, anything else any questions uh, you want answering then please do that before this Sunday the 29th of April um, I'm, I'm using that as a cut off and then any orders placed after the 29th will be posted out when I get back which will be after the 12th of May so um, I'm actually only away for a week but I've, I've left a little bit of time either side so that um, I've got got that time to prepare and there's a little bit of time next week to send out those orders so if that um, perfect jersey fabric comes in early enough next week I'm going to work like the clappers for you to get it posted out um, so I'll let you know what happens as soon as I know what day I'm going to get it it's really frustrating I wanted it this week so I could get done and dusted but there you go so um, I hope that's all right with you so there's lots of exciting things coming in um, my poor other half is going to have to take delivery of a gazillion rolls of fabric whilst I'm gone so I'm going to have lots of fun listing that for you when I get back and there might be a little sale coming too as well 
so keep an eye out for that when I return in May. All right, that's it from me for this week. So we've learned a bit more about interlock. Next time I'm going to talk about uh, interfacing. So it's something that we've all probably used at some stage. I've got my all time favorite interfacing. I've bought an absolute ton of it um, for the site. It's not live yet. So when I explain how it works and what it does, I'll pop it on there for you and um, we can see that then. Okay, sorry I've missed you for the last couple of weeks, but I'll be back again. I'm hoping to have another video probably next week actually, so I might do the interfacing one next week. Um, but yeah, if you just remember my cutoffs um, for the site and um, I'll be able to answer questions anyway, but I might be sat by the pool if you don't mind. <laughs> I won't tell you what the weather's like because it's not very cheery here, is it, at the moment? So fingers crossed it'll be a little bit better for me next week. Anyway, thanks for popping by and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye for now. Music